Welcome to Wolves Weekly. I'm Barrett Henderson, the Director of Media Relations here at Western Oregon University. Joined this week by Kellen Walker. Kellen, it's late February. That means it's, uh, it's time for some baseball. Absolutely. Yeah, we're getting close to kicking off and uh, been going since January 6th when we were able to, to get going with practice again. And uh, been pretty fortunate with some weather and being able to get outside. And, you know, you can't duplicate those, those looks of getting out of the cage and getting your guys in live situations. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely that time of year. Well, happy to have you uh, first time this season, and I'm happy to have you because I'm finally next to a coach that I'm the same size of. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> good, good. Well, let's go ahead and talk some of the season preview stuff today. Um, you know, you guys are at Cal State, Monterey Bay, and Sonoma coming up here um, this week, and we'll talk a little bit about those games coming up. But first, let's go ahead and talk about some of those key returners you have on your lineup. Yeah, um, definitely have some, some guys, some key spots, a couple outfielders coming back with, uh, you know, Tim Roush. Um, got a lot of at-bats for us last year and, and, and played quite a bit of center field. Um, came here out of, out of high school, has continued to progress and, and develop his game and, you know, towards the second half of the season there. Really started putting just some, uh, some quality at-bats together and, and, and putting some good weekends together. And then uh, Chris Bradshaw is another guy that's back in our infield, um, a guy that, that hit leadoff for us last year. Um, can play multiple spots in the outfield as well, so definitely a, a, a huge asset for us there. Um, and then moving to the infield, Garrett Harpole's back. Uh, very, very good defender at third base, and we're excited about some of the gains that he's made offensively. Um, and then, you know, you, you go around the diamond a little bit more. There's some guys that got a little bit of time in, in the Jake Whistlers, a couple of first basemen, uh, you know, over there at first. And then Will Shaveria, who, who got quite a bit of time behind the dish as well. So, um, you know, we have a couple of position players back, and then, and then Coach McInerney went out and attacked. Uh, some issues that we had, you know, in the recruiting, and was able to hopefully uh, create some some depth at certain positions, uh, you know, pitcher, position players and pitchers. Um, but yeah, looking at the staff as well, also have you know Spencer Watkins is back, um, who who you know got a lot of big outs for us last year. We're excited about his continued development as well. Um, and then some 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 new guys that, that are going to be in the rotation and in the bullpen. Uh, but yeah, we're excited about the club and you know where the roster's at. Some key newcomers you have this year. You guys went out, as you mentioned, and got a, a lot of transfers. You got a lot of guys who played uh, JC Ball uh, and a couple other four-year guys. Uh, just you know, if you could just go briefly through those guys. Yeah, um, you know, a couple guys at, at shortstop. Uh, Austin Hamilton was a transfer from from Lynn Benton, um, who, who we've known for a while. You know, pretty local kid, being from from over in the Salem area. Um, and then also Marcus Hinkle, um, who, who came in last year at the break and ended up redshirting, but he, he's uh, you know continued to improve his game and, and, and he's in a very good spot as well. Um, so those two, and then also Josh Solmsas, who's a returner, um, who's had a lot of you know played in a lot of big games at shortstop for us. So having having those three guys at shortstop, uh, we'll be able to mix and match with that. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, yeah, some some other guys at different spots that, that, that we're definitely excited about for sure. Now you guys open up uh, a familiar place in the GNAC preseason poll, number one, uh, 12 straight conference titles. Uh, first, Coach, uh, do you feel any kind of pressure to, to continue that streak going here in the conference? Uh, you know, j just kind of like we talked about last year, too, at the, at the same time in the, the same interview. Obviously, I was sitting <laughs> by somebody different. But, um, you know, the, the, the main thing that we concentrate on is our day-by-day -day process and, and how we can get better each and every day as an individual baseball player, which is going to have a direct correlation of, of, of where we end up at the end of the year. So, um, you know, the GNAC's going to be very, very good again. Um, it, it's getting more depth, and you look at the rosters that are up for the other teams, and then the coaching staffs, you know, they're, they're going to have their guys ready to go. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to attack that when we get to it. But right now we're concentrated on, on going down and getting our season started down at Monterey Bay, who's a very, very quality opponent. Yeah, looking in the conference, Central Washington, a team that's right behind you in that preseason poll in the second spot. Uh, that's a talented Wildcats team. Yeah, and their 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 pitching staff. Um, you know, it's going to have some depth this year. They also brought in some position players. Um, so I mean, they definitely attacked it on the recruiting trail, and and, and they'll be ready to go. And um, you know, they'll they'll come at us with their best shot, just like everybody does in the GNAC and everybody in the West Coast. Um, so we'll have to match that intensity and match that effort and and, and be ready to go. Um, but like I said, we'll we'll attack that when we get to it. Taking a look at your uh, overall schedule this year, you, you're going out and playing some great non-conference opponents, starting with Monterey Bay and Sonoma here, and uh, you know some West Region opponents that, again, a really talented West Region. 
Absolutely, and I mean, it's, it's such a great early season test for us to see where we're at and, and, and get on the road and, and get down, down there and get in some adverse situations where you're playing, you know, in somebody else's ballpark, uh, you know, and, and playing teams that are very, very good and, 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 and are going to be ready to go. So our biggest thing and why we're excited, you know, as a coaching staff and our roster that, that's traveling down there is it's just such a good early season test and such a great opportunity for us to have that, that we're really excited to get down there and attack it. Well, Coach, uh, we wish you the best this week and uh, hope that we're talking about some wins next week. Thanks, Barry.